In this video, I'm going to show you a different little concept out of the 335 odd that will help put your defenders in a very unique and actually very advantageous alignment for your defense. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We upload videos every single day, probably six to nine videos a day to help you get better at this game. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 22, I'd encourage you to click subscribe down below. Again, it's completely free to do just that. And in this video, what we're talking about is a very unique little trick that you can do. You can do this from any formation, but I really like doing this from the nickel 335 odd. And the reason why is because there's not a safety blitz out of nickel 335 odd. There's not a way to get the safeties to come into the box pre-snap outside of maybe the cover three match, but then it only brings one safety down. And if you audible out of it, it actually kind of it basically limits the, the tip. So I wanted to give you a trick in which you can get your safeties into the box and it will help significantly with things like post routes and things like uh, things like post routes and things like streaks uh, to the seams and stuff like that. So we're just going to come out in the LB cross show too. And really quickly, what we're going to do is we are going to, when we come out, we're going to basically come out on this play. We're going to blitz both of our safeties and then we're going to show blitz and then we're going to spread our line and show blitz again. And what you're going to see is you're going to see these safeties now come into the box and then we can hot route them to whatever zone that we want. And you see they're also in an advantageous position to be able to blitz. So as you can see here, now it doesn't show this, but I did go ahead and put them into coverage. So they should drop into coverage here. Um, and again, you can kind of set up your coverage however you want it to. But as you see here, they drop out in coverage. And it actually, we still scream because 3 2 5 odd is that good. But as you can see right there, we're able to get ourselves in a really advantageous position for coverage. So if they were to run something like a you know heavy verticals uh, type of passing attack, you see here, we just do that simple adjustment. And again, we're just dropping these guys into, I typically will drop these guys uh, into quarter zones and then I'll basically play, you know, something kind of like this, at least to start a game out, uh, just a simple two man pressure. But what you see here is they can't throw the fade routes. Okay, they can't throw the seams. Uh, which makes this a very, very good and very successful defense. Obviously, if you're using zone drops, that will help it as well. Now, the other thing that I like about this is that if I were to do this setup again, um, and then I were to basically just go ahead and audible to another coverage, take a look, you're, see, you're gonna see here that your safeties don't move. They actually stay where you want them to. And so what I like about this is now I can play my match defenses, uh, but they get them in a really advantageous position for things like double post, things like post routes and streak routes. They're gonna come down and play a little bit more aggressively. So again, let me show you this one more time. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come out, we're gonna blitz both of our safeties, and then we're gonna show blitz. From that point, we're gonna spread our line, and then we're gonna show blitz again. And as you see, it's gonna bring these safeties right in the, into the line of play. And then we can just audible to whatever we want. If we want to play cover three, we can play cover three. Um, if we want to play cover four, we can audible to cover four. Um, and then as you can see right here, really simple, but really, really effective. We get great pressure from three through five odd, but look at how much better that post route is defended now that you've kind of put them in this uh, really advantageous position. Now, uh, what you can also do out of this, if you want to, um, is you certainly can send some pressure. So uh, real quick, let me just show blitz. That, show, that second show blitz is really the trick. So now I wanna send some pressure. Well, what you can do is you can send pressure in a couple different ways. You can send pressure off of basically either edge of this defense. So um, if I wanted to play some heavy running back coverage, I could put that purple zone out there. Um, and then what you can see here is if they maybe block the running back, you'll see now that my pressure will still come through the A gap, maybe via the loop or whatever. So I can send pressure off of both edges um, with this concept. So again, we're just gonna blitz both of our safeties, show blitz, and then we're going to show blitz again. And typically what I like to do is once you spread your line, um, I think it helps with the consistency of bringing these guys down because you saw that, that other corner didn't want to come down quite off the rip. But now you see that I can send, you know, kind of a three man rush off of this right edge and then I can really play heavy coverage. So if I wanted to play, you know, something like this, now I've got a really cool little five man pressure concept off of the bunch side that's going to come through the A gap or whatever. And then I can kind of zone off if I want to stop a running back table route or whatever. I can do just that. So I just like this this kind of concept. And again, don't ever um, don't ever mistake the power of you know dropping this and going into that cover six because you can drop into that cover six relatively easily. And what you'll see is these guys will come right in down in the box. 
and now you'll see he's in a great position to be able to take away the post um, on double post or something like that. So this is just a simple little way that I like to go ahead and kind of manipulate this uh, this coverage because now I can basically do whatever I want. You know, I can do this right here. You see they come down and then now I can audible. If I want to play man coverage, I can play man coverage. I can just sit in man coverage right here just very simply. And you see it just, it's very deceptive. It's very deceptive. That's what it comes down to. Um, it gives you the flexibility to be able to blitz a lot more people. And it really doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. You can literally just put them in a blitz, show blitz, go about setting up your play and then show blitz one more time. And then, then you can basically, you know, create whatever coverage you want. And as you see, I mean, you're gonna absolutely scream at people because of the 335 odd. But this is just a little concept that I think can help your defense a lot, kind of getting these safeties to come down. Because one of the things about 335 odd is that it's really hard to get the safeties to walk down because there's no safety blitz. It's also hard because there's not um, there's not an easy way to audible into 335 odd and still be able to get the same all the same pressure concepts that you're used to getting out of it. So this is a great little trick to kind of get these safeties to come down into the box. Um, you could also do this, like I said, I personally like to show blitz because I show blitz and then really you don't even have to move your line. You just show blitz twice basically is what you're doing. So you see here, I just show blitz twice and now you see, look at how advantageous this is. So then once I do that, then I can even audible back to the LB cross three show too. So as you see here, and now I'm back and the safeties are still, the safeties are now back into their default coverages. And as you see there, you know, we're able to play some routes relatively better. So you don't want to reset your play, but what you do want to do is you want to audible to something else. So you can see here, show blitz, just show blitz twice. Now you see you've got this nice little setup. And as you can see here, I can audible to whatever. So if I want to play cover three, I can audible to that cover three. And as you can see here, so you want to put in your audibles really the stuff that you're wanting to run. But as you can see, I mean, this thing really does lock down bunch in a unique way. It puts your players in a lot better of a position this year uh, to, to just kind of get them in a position where they can not only blitz, but they can also play very good coverage. So that's just a little pro tip on how to get these guys to walk down. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the tip. If you want to learn the coverage schemes and the blitzing schemes a little bit more in depth from this, as well as some other stuff that we've got, we've got over five hours of video breakdown and written written material on this 335 odd defensive uh, formation. So I would encourage you to get the defensive guide. There's a link in the description of the video. So if you head down to the link in the description, you'll be able to just go to the website link that I put down there and you can pick up that defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Super cheap, especially for the quality of the level of defensive guide that you're getting. A ton of material in terms of how to start locking down some of the best offenses in the entire game. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my complete defensive guide for Madden 22, the link is in the description.